today the len built-in function in Python 3. So len takes one argument, which may be a sequence or a collection. And what I'm going to focus on in this video is situations where len doesn't work and you're going to run into errors. So we know with len we can cast that around strings and lists and all kinds of different iterables. But let me show you a couple ways where you could run into trouble. The first is with type. So if you put len around type, you're going to get a type error. The second one is if you do len with types such as string or list or dict, basically anything like that, you're going to get a type error. Another one that's a little counterintuitive is with map. So say, uh, say we had a map and we wanted to, you know, cast a range to strings. And that's cool. And this is what it looks like, by the way. Zero, one, two, whatever. But if you tried to get the len of A, you're going to get a type error because the type map has no len. This map object is not something that you can cast len around. The last one we could do is an iterator object. So if we did uh, iter and we do a little list with like one, two, three, four, right? We have a list iterator object. And if you try to get the len of that, again, you're going to get a type error. List iterator has no len. Let's do a little behind the scenes and see if the len dunder method is available to us. So we'll use dir and we'll look for len in here. And we see that this list has the len dunder function. So we should be good to go. And if you did dir on say an integer, well, there's no len available to us in here. We don't have that dunder method. So that's how you can kind of check uh, if you'll be able to cast things with len.